resize windows, drag items between apps, and organize your workspace easily. Here's how to use windowing in iPad OS 26. In the Multitasking and Gestures section of Settings, tap to turn on Windowed Apps. Then, return to the home screen and open an app. We'll choose Notes. To resize a full screen app, drag the handle in the bottom right corner of the screen. Once you've resized an app, you can move it freely. Just drag the app window from the top to move it to a new spot on screen. You can even have part of a window off screen. Now, let's open Photos and resize the window. We'll also move it so it's not in front of Notes. To work with apps side by side, you can tile them. First, drag the Photos window by its top, then flick it to the left side of the screen. Now, drag the Notes window by its top and flick it to the right edge to use the two apps side by side. When apps are tiled in this way, drag the divider between them to resize both apps at the same time. And when apps are side by side, it's easy to move content between them. Let's drag a photo from the library to add it to a note. With several apps open in Windows, you can easily rearrange your workspace how you like it. To close, minimize, or rearrange your windows, tap the Window Controls in the top left corner of any app. Tap Minimize to minimize the app without removing it from the App Switcher. To access your other apps and widgets, swipe up to show the home screen. Now, just tap an app or widget to open it. We'll choose Files. Open the App Switcher to show all your current windows and swipe right to access other apps you've recently used. Tap a minimized app like Reminders and it reopens in the same size and position it was previously. To arrange your apps, touch and hold the window controls. This shows window layouts you can use to place windows in different areas of the screen or to arrange apps side by side. We'll tap Quarters to place an app in each corner. Now you can try out windowing on iPad for yourself.